Receive power, KPM. Receive power. You cannot go into this year without power. Receive power. Receive power. Nali ade gabando zasho tamanda. Lari ade gabahaya na bahaya. Begin to pray. Maria ande be keri atala bahaya. Baya li ade jete bali atula bahaya. Daranda na makula baja tula bahaya. Ya ye keri ede be zisha bali atandande ayo. Paya liye ke bahaya. Haya ndo bakula mahaya. I speak from this holy altar of God. And I declare and I decree you are receiving power. Mana mahaya. Paya liye ne jala mandu mahaya. Kala ne yari andu shabaya ne. Ya 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 de la na makula bahaya la ya no mahaya if you are half spiritual you know god is here haleria do na mahaya na mahaya listen failure is proof you don't have enough power death is proof there isn't enough power unless it's the appointed time of god you need power over death. Listen. Your season of greatness, when the enemy perceives it, because he can see that he has lost, he also dispatches death. Are you here? Are you here? Because by death, the enemy can abort your breakthrough. Stretch your hands. I speak over your life. I declare and I decree. Every plan of death for your life. I sense this thing strong. Because you are in your season of appearing, a devil don't want to take you out. Say, devil, you can't take me out. Are you saying it or not? I said, say, devil, you can't take me out. I didn't come this far to die. You can't take me out. Today I fight for my life. I wage a war for my life. I refuse to die because I'm in a season of breakthrough. I refuse to die because I'm in my season of appearing. Open your mouth and fight the spirit of death. Break left in your hands. Come on. Fight the spirit of death. Shalandamaya. Aliata bakola mahaya. Keep praying. Look at me. Ah, la mahaya. Anda ma one, two, three, four. Come here. Bayati bakola bakola bahaya. Anda aliata. You are not going to die. No, no, no. I said no. Hayata bahaya. Death has got to be rejected. You will not die but live. Ah, kapatola mahaya. Listen. Joseph was about to shine. Hello? What did they say? Let us kill him. There are people who are plotting your death. We are going to cancel that plot. Whether it is a long term plot, short term plot, we are going to cancel it. Uh, you look like you are not really interested in what I am saying. Uh, maybe I am praying for myself, I don't know. Say, spirit of death, you have been planned to take me out by the enemy. You will not work. As I pray now, in the Holy Ghost, Clap in my hands. Spirit of death. Be aborted. Be aborted. Be aborted. Be aborted. Open your mouth and pray. You will not die. You will not die. Zushabatalamahaya. <laughs> Ayaya danda na makula bandu mahaya. Malunda mahaya. Listen. The Lord said to me, if people knew what the devil is planning, they would be serious. 
That statement shook me. It says, when you see the level of someone's spirituality, it's their level of awareness of what is happening to them spiritually. Imagine with me a picture where a dog has been let loose from a yard, a vicious dog, and is coming after you, but you are walking. That is a picture of many saints. Just because you can't see what the enemy is planning, doesn't mean he's not planning it. And war betides a man who has carnal friends. And at the same time, the spirit of death is hovering. And they are all blind. Stretch your hands. You are going to see when danger is beckoning. And you are going to receive the grace not only to see, but to do something about it. There are times when people can say, I, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this, but they don't have the power to do anything about it. It's useless. You might as well surrender to death. The enemy wants to destroy you. Listen to me. Because you are carrying a word of destiny. You know, I remember the man of God from Nigeria. He said, he said it in his native accent. He says, nobody here is threatening you with debt. <laughs> Sometimes people, when you speak to them, they think you are threatening them. Simply because they can't see what you can see. So the enemy, the reason why he wants to kill you is not just because he just wants to kill you. No. Because of your dream. And let us kill him. And we will see what shall become of his dream. So the moment you have a God-given dream, you are a target. So the, here's the mistake that people make. We pray more for the dream than to defend your life so you can fulfill the dream. If you build a beautiful house, a beautiful business, what is the point if you're not going to enjoy it? That's what the Bible says, they shall build houses and live in them. It's one thing to build it, it's another to live in it. We are going to pray. First, first, first part of this revival, we are going to pray and preserve our lives. I see some cannot even say amen. That, that, it means you are under attack. <laughs> if you cannot say amen to a prayer that is offered to deal with the spirit of death, that is proof you are under a heavy attack. Take it to mom. Mama, deal with this please. I need information here. Are you here somebody? Shout, spirit of death. I reject you. You have to reject that appointment. Death is an appointment. Could I listen to this? I was listening to a man of God. Listen to what the man of God said. True story. I trust this man of God. He said, there's a person who missed the flight. Listen to this. He missed the flight. And did he? Let's say he was supposed to fly to Blawayo. Right? He missed the flight to Blawayo. Right? And then he got onto the train to go to Blawayo. Watch this. The flight crashed. And the train crashed and he died. So there are times when the spirit of death is trailing you. And often times, that's when I see Do you know there are people who have died unnecessarily? Job 6.25, what does your arguing prove? There are times when you just need to obey spiritual matters. Because the enemy is not playing. Hey. You see, the, the enemy did not finish dealing with the spirit of death, particularly 1 January. He has continued. Because many of you, this is your year of establishment. It's not a theme you have to turn on a piece of paper. It's, it's, it's a theme for your life. 
So if this is your year of establishment, the devil wants to prove that you are not going to be established. And the best way to prove it is to take you out. Shall you will not take me out? Are you shouting it? Shall you will not take me out? Say, devil, you will not take me out. I refuse to argue with spirituality in my season of appearing. The enemy cannot take me out. I wage a war concerning my life. I am fighting to put a hedge of fire round about my life. Enemy, you are joking. I have worked hard on many of these things. I have been patient. I have fasted. I have prayed so God can raise me. Not for you to take me out. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clap in my hands the powers of death. You have to lose me now. You have to lose me now. Open your mouth and pray. The enemy will not take you out. He will not take you out. He will not take you out. I said he will not take you out. 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 Listen. Listen. Deliverance without seeding is a waste of time. So we are not going to edit out Zino Shanda Kutitifadze Marumbi and data. Data. Regu poster. Joe, so, I'll paraphrase very quickly. David had sinned. Watch this. And the Lord was angry. He passed a judgment. And I, I mentioned a little bit of this on Sunday, but I didn't finish. But I need to bring home a point here. And he was given options, three options. Seven years of famine, three months running from his enemies, or three, hands, th three days in the hands of the Lord. This way, the second Samuel 24, I think it is. Right, but watch this. He chose to be in the hands of the Lord because if you're in the hands of your enemy, your enemy will just destroy you. Are, are, are you understanding me? So even when you do sin, run to God. Don't run away from God. But here's the point. He went to the man of God and the man of God gave him instructions. You don't get instructions from the man of God, and then you go and cross-check with your friends. Do, do, do you see where the problem comes? Because when instructors you don't say our opinion, and then on our opinion, we are not bound. As in spirituality, we are not my instructions, and you can forfeit your destiny. The instructions he got from the man of God was set up and erect an altar. Say altar. An altar now includes prayer, hello, worship, and sacrifice. If those three things are not on an altar, it is not complete. In fact, I would add a fourth one and say the word. Okay? So, when there's trouble, erect an altar. You don't need me to give you a white envelope for you to know you need to see it. You can see and sense in your life that there's trouble. Yeah, some, some things are not making sense. Let me erect an altar. Go and read the Bible.